The default report shown in the Reports tab is the Class Role Report. Remember, the list of students shown here in the reports is based on the filter set in the Class Role tab. If a student cannot be found in reports, then check the filters being applied. The report banner across the top shows the common core overall for the group shown, as well as the average progress, group average time, and total time spent in the software. Also included is a pie chart showing a breakdown of time spent in the five major areas, lessons, tests assessments, vocabulary, library, and games. The body of the report can be sorted by any of the first six columns. The columns are as follows, from left to right, students. The first and last name of the students, the report is sorted alphabetically according to this column by default. RTI status. This shows the status of the student. Sort by this column to quickly see which students require intervention. The status codes are as follows. Green means the student is on track. Yellow means caution. The student has three or more RTI cautions from lessons or tests. Red means alert. The student has failed at least one lesson or test. Time in software. Shows students' total time in the software. Last login. Shows the date when the student last accessed the software. Track. The students track K. 1, 2, or 3. Current lesson. The student's current lesson. Percentage complete. The percentage completed of the assigned track. Only accounts that have purchased the Reading Horizons Discovery Reading Assessment will have data in these next two columns. Lexile. This shows the student's most recent Lexile measure. Growth. For students who have taken the reading assessment multiple times, this column shows the growth in Lexile measures. Results from the first reading assessment are compared to results from the most recent reading assessment, and the difference is recorded here. Chapters 1 through 6 A graphical representation of the total track, represented by the gray bar, and the percentage complete, represented by the blue bar. This progress bar also shows the student's current chapter. For instance, this student, who is assigned to track 1, which covers chapters 1 through 4, is in chapter 2. Double-clicking on a student will open the student's summary report for the selected student. The report banner is also displayed across the top on this report, but the data shown is for the selected student. To change the current student, click on the drop-down box with the student's name and select another student. Below the report banner are summaries of each report section. Lessons, tests, assessments, vocabulary, and library. Click on the desired summary to see a more detailed report. Let's start with lessons. The Student Lesson Summary Reports shows the status and results for the lessons given through the course of the software. Again, the report banner shows the current student's data. The body of the report can be viewed by selecting either the All Chapters tab, which shows a complete list of all the lessons for the assigned track, or one of the individual chapter tabs, which show the lessons within each chapter. The columns for the report are as follows, from left to right. Lesson number. This lesson number corresponds to the lesson numbers in the direct instruction materials. Lesson title. This is the full title of each lesson. RTI status. Shows the status of the lesson. Sort by this column to quickly see with which lessons the student struggled. The status codes are as follows. Green means the lesson has been successfully completed. Yellow means the student failed the activities the first time, but passed following the refresher. Red means the students failed the activities both times. 
This also means a message was sent to the message center. Black means the lesson was overridden by an administrator or as a result of assessment results. Gray means the lesson has not been taken. Score. Percentage correct in lesson activities. Note that some lessons when completed will have no score. This is because those lessons have no activities associated with them. Overall, the sum of the correct and total answers with a composite percentage score for all lessons shown at the bottom with a class average comparison. Skills in isolation shows how the student performed on skills in isolation with the composite score and class average comparison as well. There are no skills in isolation for most common word lessons. Skills in context shows how the student perform on skills in context. Again, showing the composite and class average comparison at the bottom. Spelling shows how the student performed in spelling-related activities. Only most common word lessons will have spelling results. Rapid recognition shows how the student performed in rapid recognition activity. Only MCW lessons will have rapid recognition results. Time shows total time spent in each lesson. At the bottom is the total time the student spent for all lessons shown with a class average total time comparison. Date shows the date the lesson was completed. Double click on a lesson to view the lesson summary report. The lesson summary report shows the lesson status and results for all students in the current group. View a different lesson by clicking on the drop down box and selecting another lesson title. To return to the student lesson summary report, click the back button. Click the back button again to return to the student summary report. From the student summary report, click on the tests section. The student test summary report shows the status and results for the tests given through the course of the software. The body of the report can be viewed by selecting either the All Tests tab or one of the individual test tabs. When viewing the All Tests tab, the test results are displayed for each test. The types of questions on the tests can be grouped into one of three categories. Skills in Isolation, Skills in Context, and Reference Lessons. The overall score is the sum of these three categories. To compare how other students have performed on a given test, double-click on the test in the All Tests tab, and you will be shown the test summary report for the current group. Press the Back button to return to the Student Test Summary Report. For Tracks 1 through 3, there is one test for each chapter in the track. Track 1 has 4 chapters and 4 tests. Track 2 has 5 chapters and 5 tests. Track 3 has 6 chapters and 6 tests. The kindergarten track is different. There are 2 chapters and 7 tests. The kindergarten chapter tests have been broken up into 7 smaller segments. Tests 1 through 5 are for Chapter 1 and Test 6 and 7 are for Chapter 2. When a student takes a test, they are tested on their knowledge of the skills and concepts taught in the preceding lessons. To see the list of lessons assessed within a test, click on one of the individual test tabs. Each lesson or major skill assessed is listed with an associated score. The RTI status codes are as follows. Green means the student passed that skill. Yellow means the student failed the one or more skills within the test, but after receiving a refresher for the skills, the student passed the skills refresher activities. Red means the student failed at least one of the skills within the test and also failed the skill refresher activities that followed. When the RTI status is read, a message is sent to the message center informing the instructor of the failure, as well as intervention options. 
When viewing an individual test tab, double-click on one of the major skills to see the list of associated minor skills. This view is helpful in determining with which minor skill elements the student struggled, if any. In this example, the lesson or major skill is digraphs CH, SH, WH, and PH. The minor skills are each of the individual digraphs. Press the back button twice to return to the student summary report. The assessment reports will not be discussed in this tutorial, but will be covered individually in their own tutorials. We will cover the vocabulary report next. This report shows the number of words the student has added to each word wall, the total number of words available for each wall, the date of last activity on the word wall, and the average completion percentage for the group being shown. The last four columns show how many words have been added to the wall in the last 24 hours, one week, two weeks, and month. The last report is the library report. This report shows the students' results for each story assessment. The body of the report can be viewed by selecting either the All Chapters tab or one of the individual chapter tabs. When viewing the All Chapters tab, all the books for which the student will have access in their assigned track are shown. Tracks 1 through 3 will have access to all the kindergarten stories from the very beginning. The other chapter books will be earned as lessons are completed. Students on the kindergarten track will have no stories available until lessons are completed in Chapter 2. Two of the key columns for this report are as follows. Story order. Click on this column to return to the original sort, which is the order in which the books are introduced in the software, and RTI status. This shows the status of the story. Sort by this column to quickly see with which stories the student struggled. The status codes are as follows. Green means the student received a score of 66% or better for all attempts. Yellow means a score between 34 and 65% for all attempts. Red means a score of 33% or worse for all attempts. Gray means the student has not yet taken the comprehension questions for this story. The column's main idea, detail, vocabulary, inference, story grammar, and sequence show the scores for questions that fall within each category. With subtotals at the bottom for each category, it is very easy for a teacher to determine in which main areas the student or class struggles. Double-clicking on a story while in the All Chapters tab will show scores for all students in the current group. Double-clicking on a story while in one of the chapter tabs will show the scores for each time the student has taken the story comprehension questions. The maximum number of attempts is two. The student is given the comprehension questions the first time they read the story in conjunction with the lesson, as well as the first time they access the book once it is unlocked in the library. Once the comprehension questions have been completed from the library, the book can be read as often as desired, and the student has the option to have the book read to them by the narrator. This will be covered in more detail in the tutorials for the student side of the software.